everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another MLB 24 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the number one way to be making stubs in Diamond Dynasty all year round, and that's going to be by flipping cards. I'm going to show you what to look for, things that I look for, methods that you can use, times to sell, times to buy, and a really cool website that'll help you manage a lot of this and help you find the best cards to flip. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, this is going to kind of be a two-part series. Part one, we're going to be in-game going through the marketplace in game part two which will likely be tomorrow or the next day i'm going to talk about the companion app which is probably the best way to flip cards because you can do it while you're at work, while you're at school, while you're on the toilet, when you're out of town, doesn't matter. As long as you got a phone next to you, you'll be able to flip cards and make profit and you can buy and sell and list cards much, much faster than you can do on console. So the first thing we're going to talk about, the first thing you're thinking is pop. How are you making a video about making all these stubs when you only have 36,000? As much time as you want to put into this is how much your stuff, how many stubs you're going to be able to make. I've been kind of lazy. I haven't really been doing this a lot since launch. I'll probably ramp it up over the next week or so to see exactly what we can do. But everything that I'm going to show you, I've used in years past and have been able to make, you know, 50 to 100,000 stubs per day. Again, how much time you put into this is how much you're going to get in return. So let's go to the marketplace while we're in game. And, you know, you can all have your opinions and priorities on cards that you might want to go and try to flip to me diamonds and golds just simply aren't worth it if you page through and by the way you can flip any type of card that's sellable or buyable in the game it doesn't have to be mlb cards that's just kind of my preference but if you take a look at diamonds and gold cards to me the profit margin just isn't there or not worth it mainly because people aren't buying and selling these cards as fast as they are with silvers commons and bronze cards also you've opened up packs in this game what are you more likely to get a bunch of common and bronze cards or a silver, gold, or diamond card. So naturally, the lower overall cards, the less desired cards, which you would think are going to more frequently be in packs, and that means more people are going to be buying and selling them. Plus, you need all of these cards for live series collections, and early on in the year is when the majority of the community is trying to get those done, so that's when cards are going to be buying and selling really, really fast. If you can find cards like Pete Alonzo here, right? If we could manage to get this card for 7K and then sell it for 8.1K, I think after the 10% tax, it would be somewhere around like a 230 to 260 stub profit. That's very good. To me, if I can make 80 to 100 stub profit every time, every flip, that's a W in my opinion. Some of you might think that's not worth it, and that's okay. That's just what I do. Because the lower overall cards sell so frequently, I like to spend my time on flipping those because I know that they're going to be moving at a much rapid rate than the big fish, right, with the diamonds and golds. So I would recommend using your filters over here on the right-hand side by hitting square or X on Xbox. And typically what I do is just I'll go by rarity and we'll use bronze, for example. You can sort by team and go from team to team to team. One team that I did notice uh, is, is doing pretty well from a flipping standpoint right now is the Oakland A's, soon to be the Las Vegas A's. And basically, we're looking for a price gap between the buy now section and the sell now section. And if you can find about a hundred stub difference, that's usually a W. So Mason Miller here, sell now 153, buy now 266. Let's go put some buy and sell options in here. If you're new to the game and you don't really understand the market and how to buy or sell cards, I encourage you to go watch the video that I put out a couple days ago explaining it all in detail. We'll link that one down below in the comment section as a pinned comment for you to go check out. Basically, I'm going to try to uppercut the sell option. So right now, the best one out there is 153. Make sure you don't hit your X or A button too many times. You might find yourself accidentally buying this card at 266 stubs. And basically, I'm going to try to top that 153 just by a little bit. You don't want to do too much. So I'm going to go 156 here. I'll put another 156 in. I tend to do about five to seven cards at a time of the same player. The mobile app will allow you to do this a lot quicker and sell them a lot quicker. And there's a little trick that you can find all your duplicates much, much easier on the app versus in console. And again, that'll be for part two of this mini video series. But I'll put three in at 156. And not that anybody is like trying to figure out who's putting in these orders. Is it the same person? Is it different people? But sometimes I like to do this. I'll just put one that's going to be one stub lower than our, our main offer and then one that's one stub higher than our main offer so now we got one at 153 one at 157 
and three at 156. We got five orders in, and basically we're going to do this to as many cards as we can find that profit margin in. Uh, this guy right here, 165, sorry, 265, and then 120. He's definitely a good one. Also, look for prices that are easy to type in. You know, again, if you're not on the mobile app, one, two, three is pretty quick. Boom, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to put these orders in a lot faster. Somebody just topped me there and put one in for 125, so we'll go 128. And don't get into too many bidding wards with people here because that's another way to lose some profit we're only talking a couple stubs here or there so it's not really the end of the world but just something to keep in mind uh here's another one lewis medina 296 for the buy 175 for the sell so i feel like we can maybe find a little profit also notice the top one's 175 then there's 172 don't be afraid to just do a bunch of 173s in there once that 175 sells there's a very good chance that all your 173 offers are then going to be up next. Of course, somebody could come along and go up and go 177, 180, 190, 200 if they wanted to. That's a risk you're willing to take, but all of these orders can be canceled if you need to cancel them. They do also never expire, so just be mindful of that because if you put in a bunch of orders and you forget about them for a couple days and then prices fluctuate a ton, you can end up getting caught slipping there. Uh, the trends that I've noticed in the years past, I haven't fully paid attention to it in this year's game so far but a lot of times you can find cards really cheap during the day and then as the day goes on into the afternoon and the early evening when people get home from work and school prices will start to go up a little bit overnight it's kind of a crapshoot so you can risk what you want to risk there but generally speaking buying low during the day hoarding everything you buy during the day and then listing it at night in the evening not like overnight but in the evening tends to work out for me one tactic you can use overnight is you know before you go to bed maybe take a look at some more expensive cards but if we go to alex wood here we could put in a bunch of orders and put them at like 115 or 118k i don't know why i added the k there i meant 118 stubs are so is somebody going to sell them to you maybe maybe not uh, but it's worth the risk letting them sit overnight and if nobody sells you can go in and cancel that order and you don't have to worry about it so Giancarlo Stanton was a card that I bought a bunch of before I started recording this video and actually if I want to admit something here it was somebody that I bought during the last time I recorded this video but I didn't actually hit the record button so I'm an idiot for that but the point is is that this is a card that's pretty good to flip here and you can see we have four of them right now that we bought roughly around like 83 84 stubs we're gonna go ahead and list them now for about 177 so we're not making that full 100 stub profit that we're trying to look for here especially because of the 10 percent tax but we now have all of our cards listed up there and once all of these cards sell that's all gonna be profit now again because bronze cards move so quickly these are the cards that I target same thing with commons and at this point already silvers a couple years back silvers held a lot of value for a couple weeks into the game now they're dirt cheap already so you can certainly target those cards now you can tell you're doing a lot of flipping or a lot of work or making a lot of profit based on your completed orders page number I'm at 39 right now and as I scroll through these you're gonna see a bunch of the same names for me buying and selling them I've had years very early on in the season where I've been into the thousands of completed order pages uh, right away so again I haven't really been doing a ton of work but there's still been a handful of cards that we flipped already and so far I'm no money spent I'm probably not gonna go no money spent the entire year I don't know I haven't really decided but if you're gonna be no money spent this is something that you're simply going to have to do. Now, we have a great website that I'm going to recommend. This is not an ad at all, but the Show Zone, and it's actually showzone.gg, is a great website to help you find the correct cards to flip if you don't want to look them look for them yourself. So if you're on this website and you go to market, drop down, go to flipping, there is a mechanic, a tool in here that allows you to search for any card in the game. And it basically does a lot of math for you. It allows you to sort so you can see how many cards are selling per minute, the profit, profit per minute, all of that. Now I will tell you that I have a pro membership. You don't have to pay for this, but you certainly can. Uh, it's $60 a year or $5 a month. There's a diamond membership, which is $6 and 25 cents per month if you want to buy this and you're only buying this for the flipping purposes the diamond membership is just simply not necessary but basically when you go to this you have all the filters in the world that you can use i'm going to go item type and we're just going to go player because that's mainly what i like to flip in this game and i'm going to sort rarity and we'll just go bronze 
and apply these filters here. You can sort by team. You can set maximum and minimum profits, uh, sales per minute. You can do all of that. You can play around with that uh, whatever way you want. But basically, we have these filters here. So this is all of the bronze cards in the game. And if I want to see the cards that are basically the most profitable, this is what I'm going to do. So this Novelli Marte guy, and I don't think he's selling very frequently because the sales per minute is, is at zero. But if you're able to buy him at 25 stubs and sell him for a thousand, you're making an 875 profit. I don't think that card's realistic, but if you take a look at the next guy here, you can buy him for 280, sell for 496. Uh, he is going to give you 166 profit, and he's selling about 1.3 times per minute. Joey Gallo, which I think is a bronze card I actually have, uh, you can buy him for 770, sell him for 1,000. That's 130 stub profit. He's selling 2.1 times per minute. And if you just simply want to sort by who's selling the most per minute, you can use these filters to do it and you can see drew smith patrick sandoval uh, giancarlo stanton this is the main reason why i was flipping his card because the website told me there's about a 76 percent profit on him and he's selling at about 1.80 times per minute so that means you can get a lot of profit here and imagine if you load up the auction house or your market with all of these cards over time they're going to generate a ton of stubs for you now if you don't have the pro membership this data is not going to update as fast as it will without with the pro membership so just keep that in mind. I'm not saying go out and spend it, but if it's something you want to invest in, even if you want to try it out for $5 a month, go for it. But really and truly, the best way to make stubs in this game is going to be from investing and flipping cards. Uh, investing comes more along with the roster updates, which won't happen until the MLB season kicks off. And then, you know, a couple weeks into it is when we'll see actual overall start to change. And we'll talk about investing, uh, investing more in the future. So that's really the basics of flipping cards. Again, with the mobile app the companion app it makes it much much easier so be on the lookout for that video we'll talk about that in more detail again tomorrow or maybe the day after thank you guys for tuning into this video my name is popular stranger and i'm out peace